This is the second part to my 5x5 video on how to solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube, also known as a Professor Cube. So, first step is when you pair the edges up and solve like a 3x3, the first step to that is to make one semi pair. Semi pair meaning like if there's a white green, like this one is white green. That means there's another white green edge near, like, connects to it, a wing edge. This is a center edge. These are the wings. So, like, so you put, you put it on the right side. The white, the center edge you want to pair the wing with on the right side. Or the left, or whatever you want to do. And then, you put up the wing edge so that when you slice... So when you slice, you make a pair like white green with white green. Now you look at this edge, orange blue. So you find the orange blue center, which is right here. So you switch the this your your made pair by the other pair in a way in a way so that okay, never mind. Wait, where to go? You switch it in a way so that the so that when you slice back, you get another semi pair. So I got orange, orange, blue, and a white, green. So then you just then you just use one of the pairs on the left or right, and then just change then solve it again. Then you put another one right here. Slice. You get that pair. Then you replace it with the blue center, it, which is right here. So you can't do that. So you have to put your thing up right here before you slice. Put your center edge up here or down on the bottom slice before you do it. Otherwise, you have problems. Like you can't solve it then. Then you switch it again. Switch and replace. Put it back. Now keep on you keep on doing this thing, same process un until the thing until your this buffer edge or buffer place is solved. So okay, this is the end for this one. So there. Now I just need to switch these two. You can't do that. So you have to use this algorithm. It's L prime U two L prime U two F L prime F2 R U2 R prime U2 L2 I'll write down the algorithm so you can use it then you do the same thing again you find another white orange center then you replace it switch and replace again then you get two so this is that's basically it. You keep on switching and replacing it until you get the pair. Oh, and you can solve up to four instead of just doing one slice and getting one semi pair. You can get two, and then when you slice, when you switch, it, you have to switch two of them out if you if you're going for four. Then you get four. Well, you have to put two, and then you get four. So then, and then what you do is so that's it. You basically keep on doing the same thing until until you get all of them paired up. So let me quickly pair these up. So, 
Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So, yeah. Um, but I'm almost done. That's basically it. Paired cube. Now we have paired up all the edges. We can just solve it like a 3x3. Three three. Okay. There. Takes, it takes more time for most people to solve it as a 3x3 three three because because it's bigger, heavier, harder to move fast, and it's not supposed to be for speed cubing actually, if you read the site, if you go to rubix.com and, and, and read the description of the 5x5. Five five. Because like, one of my centerpieces popped. It like broke, so that's why it's not meant for speed cubing. Okay, almost done. There's no parity errors on this because it's a 5x5, five five and the center wing edge makes the everything. Come out okay, so there it's solved. So that's the end. So, this here are the steps there's centers, pair them the edges, and then three by three. There's one case though, there's where you have to flip one the center edge, it's R2, B2. U2, L, U2, R prime, U2, R, U2, F2, R, F2, L prime, B2, R2. There. See, it flips. There. I'll write down the algorithm, but it's like if you get a case like this at the end, you could just finish it. But you won't get it if you use the other algorithm. You can use this one while you're pairing them up or something. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and peace out.